Each year in British Columbia, about 700 health care workers are injured so badly on the job as a result of a violent incident that they miss work and their lives are forever changed. More after this. Home and community care workers are a vital part of our health care system and our lives. These are the health care professionals who come into our home. They help us adjust to newborn babies, they come to the rescue when our kids and our parents are sick, and they ease the transition at the end of our lives. So why is it that these health care workers often face violence and aggression in the workplace? The risk factors seem to be an increase in the level of violence generally in society. Um, increase homes that we're going into where there's weapons, increase homes we're going into where there's an element of criminal activity, um, increase homes we're going into where there's domestic violence or an adult guardianship. Mr. Ha, how are you? If you're sick sometimes and you're just thinking about yourself, Mary, it's often quite natural. Care. You're not as concerned about the caregivers because you your you're just having a rough time. Sometimes people don't like a system. They're kind of anti-system. Sometimes they've just got a really bad temper. I drink, I have a drink. It's my own goddamn house. Whatever the reason, the new reality for home and community care workers is that they have to take precautions before, during, and after their home visits to make sure they don't fall victim to acts of aggression and violence. When arriving at their patient's home, home care workers are encouraged to park their car in well-lit areas. I'm just outside Mr. Ha's residence. Before entering the house, workers check in with the supervisor. Someone has to know where they are at all times. It's important to have safe access to a home. Blocked pathways and unlit porches pose a risk to workers. If they've got the hair on the back of their neck kind of sticking up and they're gutting a the knot, we, a, we really make sure they feel confident to listen to themselves and just get out. We have to put our staff safety above care. And it's not that we don't want to provide great care, but care providers have often thought that comes above all else. And we really clearly now understand that our staff can't provide care if they're not safe. It's important to remember that for home and community care workers, our home is their workplace. And it's up to each of us to be aware, care, and ensure that we do everything we can to keep that workplace safe. For WorkSafe BC, I'm Maria LaRose.